Hello, and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your source for the finest two-way propaganda brought to you by TNVC.com. Today I want to tell you about the ban on whips in Reno, Nevada, FPC's quick draw lawsuit against Delaware's spooky boy ban, and how the NRA's troubles just never seem to end. If you think there is any limit to what authoritarian control freak Karens will ban, sweet summer child, you have got a lot to learn about how the world works. The Reno, Nevada City Council recently passed a whip ban. No, that's not some new TikTok trend. They literally banned actual whips. The motivation is a spate of 911 callers who mistake the sound of a whip cracking for gunshots. You have to admit, that smells a little funny. Whip cracks don't really sound anything like gunfire, unless you've spent time pulling targets on a high power range anyway. Uh, the sound a bullet makes downrange is, I guess, more or less the same as the sound as a whip, I guess. But I suspect the callers are more annoyed by street performers and are looking for an excuse to sick agents of the state on them rather than legitimately thinking those whip cracks are actual gunshots. In any case, Reno police claim the whip crackers are amateurs when it comes to proper use, and it is evident they do not possess it for any intended proper use. I don't know what made the Reno police think they are the arbiters of what a proper use is for a whip, but I'm not here to kink shame. So far as I'm concerned, making cool sounds is a proper use, so long as you're not hurting anyone. If you want to tell the city council what you think of the ban, you can call them at 775-334-INFO. If you like seeing stuff more than not seeing stuff, take a look at our sponsor, TNVC.com, your source for quality night vision gear to make you the bump in the night. You can count on FPC not to even let the ink dry on stepper legislation before filing suit. Remember Delaware's shiny new law banning ghost guns we just reported on? It makes it illegal to have a firearm receiver without a serial number or to print a firearm receiver with a 3D printer or even to post files for printing firearm receivers. Well, the Firearm Policy Coalition has already filed suit against the new law. Senior Director of Legal Operations Adam Kraut said, The basic right of individuals to self-manufacture arms for self-defense along with the possession of the parts and information necessary to exercise that right is protected by the Constitution. Period. Unlike some so-called gun rights groups out there who are not really activists, the FPC are absolute pipe hitters leading the way by filing suits and providing counsel on important cases, not just latching on to popular causes after the outcome is all but determined and filing an amicus brief so they can say they were there. No, FPC and many others out there are doing the real heavy lifting in the gun rights fight, so why not visit firearmspolicy.org and pitch in? Just for the record, we are not sponsored by FPC or any other gun rights group at the moment. It's just that when I see folks out there doing good deeds, I want to do my part by encouraging you fine folks to lend a hand. We all have to pull our weight to win. A ransomware group called Grief says they have 13 sensitive files belonging to the NRA, and they say if the NRA doesn't pay up, they'll release the files, potentially destroying the NRA's reputation. Wayne LaPierre responded to this threat courageously by stating there is nothing further grief could do to destroy the NRA's reputation beyond what LaPierre himself has already done. I'm sorry, that last part isn't true. Well, I mean, it is true, but LaPierre would never admit that out loud. To demonstrate the veracity of its claims, grief published the minutes of a recent board member meeting. The remaining files are thought to include tax documents. The NRA really only has two choices here. Either they pay up or they don't pay up. And the former option might not actually even be feasible. The US Treasury Department has sanctions against the Russian group Evil Corp, which is said to be tied to grief. That means the NRA might not even be allowed to pay the ransom without prior approval from state. Then again, maybe LaPierre can just call some of his Russian pals and settle this whole thing. 
Well, friends, that is all I have for you today. But before I go, I just want to take the time to remind you to please stop and check and see whether you're still subscribed to our channel. Our robot overlords in the tube of views know what we want better than we could possibly know for ourselves. So they just go ahead and unsubscribe viewers from any channels they think are expressing wrong think, like this one. Now, you folks out there in TV land know censorship makes puppies cry, and Captain America is very disappointed. So, don't forget to check every now and then just to be sure you're still subscribed to us. And while you're at it, make sure you ring that notification bell so you never miss a word of our gun rights propaganda. And if you want to get email alerts for the best deals and projects we're working on and the <laughs> hottest stuff you missed on the ARFCOM forums, you will also find a link tree link down there in the doobly-doo for our newsletter. And remember, if you want to help us keep bringing you banger content like this, please support the folks who support us. Not only does TNVC.com give you night vision with that cool, refreshing, never bitter taste that goes down smooth, they also have mounts, lights, swag, and all sorts of other gear to make you the bump in the night. I love you.